All right, welcome back to Cody's Game Shelf. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these bad boys. So first of all, we're going to get started with a Shelf of Shame game, Risk Legacy. Never played Risk Legacy. I've got this, had it for a while. Um, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, did I play somebody else's a little bit? I can't remember. I've never played this one. Um, but I think, now I'm thinking maybe I played... I can't remember. I'm getting old. But I haven't played this game. Um, I've, in fact, I've only really ever played one Legacy game, and that is uh, um, Betrayal Legacy. And I'm about finished. I think I have about four or five more games to go with Zach and, and Jeff and some other guys. we got to get that one done. And I'm enjoying it, but you know the problem with a Legacy game is it's a campaign game, and I'm just not a fan of campaign games generally. So there's that. This is uh, Star Wars... Risk. This is like the special edition with like really cool minis. I had the original edition, which I liked, and I can't remember how I got this one. But um, it's a fun game. It's it's actually not like conventional Risk. It's got like it's essentially end of Return of the Jedi. You've got the space battle. You've got the um, battle on Endor between you know Han and Leia on one side and the stormtroopers on the other. And then you've got Darth Vader and Luke battling on one side. And so there's a lot of different stuff going on there, but it's but it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> Cthulhu Wars. This game is phenomenal. Uh, you got these gigantic minis, biggies, and um, it's really a simple game. It looks like it's super complicated. It's a super simple game to learn and to play, but there's a lot of strategy, a lot of choices, and the game just looks beautiful. Love, love, love Cthulhu Wars. Leviathans is a great game. Again, I haven't played this in a long time, and I they, they were going to come out with, with more expansions for it, and they just kind of never did. But this is a great kind of naval game, but it's steampunk. Instead of naval ships, you've got airships that are like battleships. They're like heavy. they got like metal, but they're battleships in the sky. And you're firing on each other. You've got torpedoes, but you've got dry erase boards where you're, you're kind of marking your damage. Really a lot of fun. <coughs> Villainous Vikings. Um, this is by the uh, Jeremy uh, Stoltzfus, who gave us... Um, War of Whispers. This is a fun game. I haven't played this one in a long time, but I can't. I can't give this one away. It's just one that I like too much. I keep thinking I'm going to revisit. Um, fun little game about kooky Vikings. A um, lot of good competition there. I, I just. I just enjoy. It. I haven't played it in a long time. I'll bet I haven't played this in six years at least. But I keep thinking I got to get it to the table. Machikaro. Um, Machikaro, and I've got the harbor. This is the harbor expansion box, but I've got the base in there as well as the harbor expansion. I keep. Debating whether or not I should get rid of it because Space Base kind of killed it for me. I really like it. It's one of those games where you're setting up, you're setting up, you're trying to build a city, and you're all rolling die. When somebody rolls a die, um, it it uh, affects everybody on the board depending on what you built. So I really like it, but I don't know. I kind of, I've kind of prioritized Space Base there. So we'll see. Red Rising. Uh, Red Rising from Stonemaier Games. Played this a little, while, uh, a little while ago. I've just played it solo, solitaire. I haven't played it with anybody else. <clears throat> it's a really fun game, uh, solo. I really liked it, uh, and I'd like to play it with other players. Um, but I'm kind of... I, I just recently played another game that I'll show later in the list that, that may have killed it for me. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I, I want Before I would let this one be killed, though, I'd want to play it multiplayer. Wingspan. This is another one from Stonemaier. And this is a game that um, I had no interest in. People went on and on about it. I didn't think it looked fun at all. The, the, the theme did not thrill me. Um, and then out of the blue, uh, you know, uh, Jamie contacted me from Stonemaier and he said, hey, we got an extra copy of this. You want to review it? And I just, you know, I'm kind of a sucker for those sorts of things. So I said, yeah, sure. And I played it and it blew me away. I was really excited. I've only played it once or twice. I think twice. But it's a fun game. It's, it lives up to the hype. I was surprised how much I liked it, and I never think I would. Lords of Waterdeep, um, Wizards of the Coast. I've got the expansion. Guess what? Shelf of Shame. Haven't played the expansion, and I haven't played the base game in years. Um, so I want to play it again, if nothing else, to play the expansion. Then maybe, I don't know, we'll see if, if I should keep it. Um, because I, I've actually thought about getting rid of this, but I think i got to play the expansion before I get rid of it. But a really uh, fun game. Uh, one of the first um, worker placements I played. Really enjoyed Lords of Waterdeep quite a bit. And then finally, Shelf of Shame, Swords and Sails. The designer actually sent me this um, 
not too long ago, and I told him I just didn't know when I was going to get it to the table. And now that I'm up here, it, you know, it's a multiplayer game, big game, looks fun, looks like it's right up my alley, but uh, it's just getting butts into the table. I, I don't have a good play group up here in in uh, in uh, Wyoming, and by good I mean consistent, and not very big. And I've got a couple of people that will play games with me once in a while, and when I really want to hit some of these bigger games, i got to go back to Salt Lake. So I don't know. Uh, I want to play that at some point. We'll see what happens. Um, but anyway, that's my game shelf here. Let me know what do you think. Uh, you like these games? You not like these games? Are there some I should get rid of? Always eager to hear from you. Take it easy. Please somebody help me.